It's an absolute pleasure to meet you today. I've always loved your work, and this is an extension of that genius. Uh, I'd like to know, what it is it about uh, horror and, and paranormal based around religion that piques the interest of American audiences so well? You know, that's a great question. I mean, for me, I can only say for me, and maybe extrapolates into uh, the larger population, but uh, for me, having gone to Catholic school for 10 years, and my parents are very religious, our, both our families are very religious, Hindus, right? So you get religion in all different forms, kind of, uh, all around us. And then I start to see it as a storyteller, and, you know, faith, and, and then it couples very, very one-to-one uh, -one with the character in a supernatural movie or a supernatural story they have to learn to have faith in something so I think you know mixing the two you know religious faith and supernatural faith feels very very touching for audiences they can take one and extrapolate into the other and, um, it's all about how to, learning how to believe in things Indeed. Now, speaking of learning how to believe in things, uh, how difficult was it to sell a script where one of the primary characters is a doll of a baby? You know, I think you'd have to ask Apple, but I think at the beginning they were probably really scared <laughs> that the subject matter was so dark, uh -huh. and, and we were taking a kind of a dark humor tone on it. I wondered if they went look. They they totally went with me on it. I think you know they trusted me, but there was definitely. Nervousness at the beginning. Wait, what is this? This is about a, a, a child that died. Wait, how, how can we get to do a show about this? Indeed. But it's been such a beautiful relationship, and they've been so supportive, and have gone out of their way to say it's one of their favorite shows that they've ever made. One of the common conversations nowadays in Hollywood is nepotism, and you have a very talented daughter. Yes. Uh, what do you have to say toward the idea that parents uh, are light on it? Because I know from an African American back, I, what do you feel about the idea that parents in Hollywood are, are giving their children unfair advantages? Yeah, I don't necessarily agree with that, but please comment on that. Yeah, no, it should be. Uh, I, for me, our family, I'm super hard on the kids, so I'm harder on them than I would be on the equivalent, the equivalent person. And she's always, you know, going, "Wow, you are being incredibly hard." I'm like, I'm like, yeah. I'm, I'm always going. If you came to do anything in the arts to be validated, to be famous, to make, to for money or or material things, forget it. I mean, I've said this to my Forget it. I don't want another one of these people on this planet. Forget it. I, I don't want it. I don't. Want it. We don't. We don't Please need to go. To go do another job. <laughs> That's literally my speech. Setting a timer for you know? And if you're going to spend your entire life from when you're a child all the way through adulthood dedicating yourself to a craft at a highest level with that kind of um, sacredness to what you're doing, and you, you burn the house down for a creative decision, then we can have a conversation. We can now have a conversation about whether to continue it. Last question. Yeah. This was such an overwhelming success, and this is not your normal format. Yeah. Do we, are we going to be seeing any more from you in this particular format? I mean, I, I hope so. I don't know if I, I would do as much as I did on this show. You did a lot. I did, you know, I put every sound effect in, every, I was color timing everything, every single cue, all that stuff. That's, that's a lot, but I would, I would love to approach this again, maybe helping someone else, you know, supporting someone else, and, and you know, as a big brother. Outstanding. Thank you so much for your time. Have a wonderful evening, both of you. Thank you.